Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to share with you a clip from a recent members only live event. In this one, myself and HL49 are going to talk about two things. One, why people would be leaving Splinterlands at this moment. And two, then we get into a conversation about card drop rates and how something might have been changed. I actually really want to see what comments say on this one because I know the data says 33% per chest, but anecdotally i feel as though there's far fewer cards coming in this in the chest now i don't know if it's a 33 percent chance that you get one card and the multipliers have dropped dramatically maybe that formula is different does anybody have any information on this i need to better understand this and i feel as though there's far fewer cards in each of the chests let me know in the comments below what you think and what you've heard and i'd love to see data and also if you have any thoughts around why were people are leaving if people are leaving Seems like they are, but I feel like they've already left if they're leaving. What do you guys think? And before we get into it, of course, I got to say hello to splintercoach.com. Splintercoach.com is a website that will track your personalized battle history. And that information is going to do two things, entertain you and provide you a way to get better and uh, five bucks a month. So it's a great service, a great tool. And I really enjoy looking at it, analyzing the data, seeing how I win with certain ones and when I lose with others. Check it out. Thanks, guys. Have an amazing day. God bless. But I have a question here, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Sure. Um, Tell me. Uh, gathering the magic dropped a comment. He goes, let me, this is the question. He goes, I heard a lot of people are leaving or taking a break from Splinterlands. Any main reasons why? Just keep playing, earning assets, stay the course. You'll be you'll be glad you did. So it's both a comment on like where his posture is with it, but also a comment on or a question about where what we might think is kind of feeding into. First of all, I have my question to you is HL, like do you feel are you seeing within your community, your Discord, your channel, are people taking a break and leaving? And then secondly, do you have any sort of thoughts on why that where that's coming from? Um personally I think People are leaving because it seems a beer market is always frightening. Like it's the first thing. We've been in a long beer market for two years now. Mm -hmm. So it's also pretty long. And the assets have been falling. A lot of big guys have been leaving. That's the fear is just going to spread around. Yep. Uh, and also some changes they made that really upset me personally as a player. That it changed the drop rates for cards and didn't tell us about it. That's something that really... Yeah. And put the edge. But what if they change something else to the tone that they don't tell us about it? It's also very important. Yeah. That's it. that's an interesting one. So, but first, I, I want to talk about that, the how they change the drop rates. Because they did kind of slyly do that quietly. That was weird, to be honest, if I'm if I'm being totally honest. I you know, most people say that I'm not very critical of Splinterlands or the team or what they do. This is the point where I'm like, uh, what happened there? Like, why did they and I recently was asking people from my audience like because I know I've heard people say this and I've seen in in my own practice, like playing the game, opening my chest, the drop rates definitely changed. I don't know whether that was a correction of an error that was like something was wrong with the code and there was being too many printed or or I don't know what happened there. But I, man, don't you think we I, I, if there was ever an explanation of what happened there, I didn't hear it. And I'd love to hear what happened there and why did it change? And and because I, I feel as though the only things I ever heard was, no, it's all the same. Or, um, yeah, we corrected something, but then no real explanation of what it was. I don't think I've ever heard a deep dive of that. Did you ever hear them come out and say, yes, we changed it. We lowered it because X, Y, and Z. Or have you never heard that sort of forthright answer? No, I've never heard anything. But I would be happy with they said it and told me, hey, Guys, we made a mistake. The drop rates for champion were way too high. We lowered it down, and that's it. Then I would be happy. Just yeah. Do it publicly. I don't care. You can make mistakes. You're also a human person. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. So I, I'm with you. It would be if there was a reduction, and I'm confident there was, but I don't know there was. I just I, I all I can say is anecdotally. I'm getting fewer and fewer kind of epics and legendaries. And I've only got ever one gold foil legendary from the new soul bounds. And it was, it happened to be a three, like there was three of them. So that was awesome, but that's the only one I've got. And maybe that's normal. I don't, but I don't think so because I've getting like, I'm getting a roughly 80 to 120 chests every season for the, like the last, like as long, almost as long as we've had soul bound reward cards. So I don't know. Um, 
I've heard I've heard other people talk about this too. If gathering, I see you here, Paul here. Um, uh, Butters, good to see you, buddy. If anybody in either of the chats knows anything about this, like I want to know, was there a post that I just didn't see, or was there a reference in the, in a town hall that I maybe missed? Um, because, like HL saying, man, that was a bit weird that they didn't just give us. You know, hey, at least we 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 were printing too many. We want this to be here for two years. We needed to pull it back because I feel like they didn't. If they changed it, and I think they did, they just swept swept it under the rug. Yeah, I mean, some of my guys are currently saying, yeah, they said that their drop with wasn't changed. Cryptomancer said they didn't change it, but it doesn't feel that way. That's what I thought. I remember. I, mean, I remember the, him. Yeah, Cryptomancer answering that question, but it, he he said no, they didn't. I mean, we can take a look at my or generally the rewards that have been distributed over the few months to see what's happening mm -hmm. with the rewards. Because in the first month, just just I'm just going to quickly go to the summary really quickly. Hopefully it's loading. I mean, if we go back the first when it started, oh, I was in daily rewards. That's why it took so long. Sorry for that. Are you using Splex? Is that what yeah, you mean? To look at the, your old data? Yeah, I'm losing. Yeah, I'm looking Splex to look at my old data. Mm, good idea. Yeah, I know that you say it's RNG, but RNG is also de determined by numbers. You can still reduce the numbers or highlight the numbers. And if you take a look at the first season, I got way more legendaries mm -hmm. than in the other seasons. Man, why can't... So... Just the first two seasons felt way better than the rest of those. And and here's the thing, that could be anecdotal, just your experience. That's the problem. But I because it is reasonable from a random mm -hmm. you know, mathematical random randomization, it's possible that for, you know, two or three or four or five seasons you have like higher than normal drops, and then for two or three or four or five or ten seasons you have no no uh, lower than normal. Um but I don't really think that's what's happening. I'm just kind of trying I'm trying to Think it through, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I saw a comment on my end here. Gathering said, what are the drop rates now? Thought it was 33% cards across the board, or are they just fewer cards per chest? So I think it's still 33% drop rates, though. But uh, I don't know. I'm not seeing the same multipliers. I don't know about you guys. And Paul said it'd be a good question for Matt when he's on a town hall. I think that'd be. I think we should remember this, and I think we should raise it because we are not the only ones that are asking these questions. I don't know. I actually don't know what to think. I mean, some guys claim they have to be pretty, like this. Cosmic got two legendaries in bronze, which is very lucky. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling good for him. He's probably using them more often than I use my legendaries. Mm -hmm. But it seems like for champion, it's kind of I don't know. Yeah, I've got. Um... Like I'm seeing commons and rares, commons and rares, commons and rares from my card drops from my recent, you know, chest openings. This is over like a week so far. There's some rares. I don't, there's a legendary. There's a couple legendaries, the regular foil. Um, we're probably into two. I saw an Epic there. So, I mean, this is two weeks of data and I, there was one legendary. There was a couple, there's another Epic. They're not huge drops of epics. It's not like I'm getting eight or ten copies. It's like two or one. The legendaries were a couple, which is cool. But I mean, lots and I mean, it should be more comments. Again, I you know what? I can't. None of this. None of what I'm able to show is going to prove definitively one way or another. There's another legendary with the Kulu Mastermind. I I really think this is something that more than one person has raised and said is happening at least from a user perspective from a content creator we we i feel this is what most people think so i just really would love them to come out and say um, maybe even if they came out and said we we raised it or we lowered it we kept it the same i guess i would i'd almost want them to answer like why does it is it just is it just i think my question is does it feel different or is it different and i want them to you know Hopefully they can give me some sort of, no, it's still 33% and we're absolutely still doing ex exactly what we did. Every, everyone's criticism is just around the anecdotal experience. I don't, maybe that's the case. Maybe I'm wrong, but man, a lot of these are 
epic or uh, common or rares and that's that's i don't know i guess it's okay too because i don't know if you know this but splex gg you can you can see how far along you are in your not splex gg um splinter cards Splinter cards yeah you can, you can see how far along you are how far along is your deck um i'm about i know that i'm about 40 to 50 percent of comments mm-hmm I'm at, but I can quickly assure it to you if you want to. I just need to take a look. Mm -hmm. I mean, with commons, I'm 51% regular foil and 30 gold foils. Okay. Uh, rares are also 40% regular foil and 19% gold foil. Epics are about 41% um, regular foil, 16 gold foil. And legendaries are 27 to 4%. Okay. So we're quite similar, although I have maybe have a little more of them. I, I'm at 63% on the common, uh, 29 gold, 51 on the 51% on rare, 25 gold, 37 epic, 29 gold, uh, 38 legendary, and four gold, gold foil legendary. So I, I probably have some higher numbers there, but um, um, I mean those are decent. Like I mean even your deck. 40 50 percent complete is is not too bad i mean these are strong cards and uh we're i don't know about you but i'm getting to a place where i can use them now i, I was saying the other day like my summoners i have a level six helios that's the dragon i have a level oh hang on i got gold foils here too i have a level seven lob lowland that's the the earth splinter one um a level six from Franz Roof Main. He's the white one. Um, so, you know, gold, and I have a couple of level fives for some of the other splinters. So, I mean, high gold, low diamond. I'm ready to rock with these. With these mostly. And is that your experience, or is it more of a gold level threshold? So, some cards that I really like using are the Swamp Spitter Coastal Sentry. Those cards I've got them to level long ago, and I'm still using them. Also, Fungus Flinger with the material is amazing. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy that card. Mm -hmm. Duma Orc, on the other hand, is a card I used always at level 6 now. I don't even have him higher, but I'm using him. I have only used the Summoners. Certainly, like only the green one mm -hmm. for Korra level 1. That's the only time I used it. With 16 mana, I put in a Korra and everything else. But uh, some of the cards I'm even using at level one or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fung Fungus Flinger is fine at level one. I actually am loath to upgrade them, the Fungus Flinger, um, because you don't want those extra two hit points. But um, I have 250 copies of the Fungus Flinger, and I, if I was to upgrade it, that would make it a level eight, which would give me a blind and uh, two more hit points and three more speed. But none of that matters. Like mm -hmm. this is not a damage dealer. I don't care about him doing damage or being fast. I just want him for his martyr and that's it. Um, I guess when I get 400 copies of it, I probably will upgrade because at that point you get that second damage and and now and you end an affliction. So now it, it, it does make sense to me. But right now, anything below level nine, I don't care at all. The affliction, I don't. Yes, blind is great, uh, but I'd rather have fewer hit points. Two hit points is better than you know at level five you get a blind but and i love mm -hmm. blind but then the four hit points means noxious fumes takes two turns to kill him and that's assuming i don't bring any strength in or triage and i want that martyr to happen that's like almost the main re this is the main reason why you'd use them right yeah especially in snipe rule sets or opportunity rules as those cards are amazing also resurrect is something that's unbelievable strong with those cards mm-hmm I saw Paul drop a comment. He said the reward card, the rewards for a few accounts won't show us anything. We need a bigger sample size. You would need the per the percentage for everyone for each month. And I think he's right. Yeah. Like it'd be great if they came out and they showed us that. Saucy, good to see you, buddy. Thanks for coming by. What's gathering saying here? Hang on a second. I also had a comment right now. Yeah. From that says the DC supply went up about seven or eight million dc today oh really also tribal blacks yeah i just someone in my chat told me so that must mean that somebody burnt a sizable amount of reward cards i would think 
Yeah, I would think so too. Um, Gathering said, I have gotten 407 cards in 1400 bronze chests on my all. That's about a 29% drop rate. Only one percent, only one legendary and two epics in a bronze uh, account. See, I like I'm I constantly mention gathering the magic because this this data and and the fact that he plays a bronze account is one day going to be an example of how this game rewards for your time and attention because people think you have to play at the highest levels you have to have the diamond deck the champion you have to invest thousands of dollars before you can get anything of consequence gathering the magic with this a card i think i, I don't think he puts i think he puts like five dollars a week or something into it like or maybe he, not even that i think it might have just been literally the cost of the deck like the ten dollar starter and then he earns some for GM by playing Splinter Forge, and then with the Splinter Forge, he buys DC, which he rents cards with, or or buys like one BCX of this card or that. There's gonna be a there's gonna be like a testimony that comes out of that that um out of Gatherings coverage at that bronze level that will either prove or prove me wrong about the the earning potential of Splinter Lands at the lowest level. But I think there's going to be some significant rewards that are being accumulated for guys like gathering who are doing that the thing is in a bear market lots of people aren't doing that they're not they're not doubling down on the time and attention they just are like it's dead it's dying i'm not going to play anymore i'm going to stop playing and then you stop earning rewards in those and then there's this lack of snowball and multiplication that happens because you you it's like gathering said at the beginning he said just keep playing earning assets and and just be you'll one day you'll be glad you did i think that's i think that's true yeah that's definitely true i'm just curious are you currently live with your members mm -hmm, yes oh okay i thought i was just gonna hop in your live because they still can't hear you but they can hear me i don't know why i think it's a little bit they they, they can up, they but... can hear your your live can hear me eh? but they can't hear you that's weird <laughs> Yeah, they can't hear you, but they can hear X. But it doesn't. I don't know what you can do about it. I don't wanna think. I will play through it now. I think I'm gonna um, say thank you for being here. I will still talk with you, but I will yeah. cut the live stream out because it's just technical difficulties. But I wanna keep talking with you. Okay, understood. So, so thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Paul sent the uh, disc, the chart for distribution on discord um maybe sent to my other one let's see where's my i have two discords so there it is you have two discords yeah i have infidel 1258 and then i have 1258 and um 1258 is like my more new one so i made it what happened i, I said this before but i made an infidel 1258 account long ago that's my main account on splinterlands um and and then that I set up two factor authentication and then I, that phone got destroyed or lost or something. So now I, I no longer have access to two factor on that account. And as a result, oh, if, I, if I ever get kicked with that account from oh, discord, I can no longer. So I made 1258 and so I could r begin making those friends again and, and make so, because imagine like out of nowhere, I just send you an, a message and I'm like, Hey, uh, HL, like it's Dwayne. Um, like I want to go like send me you know what I mean like you're just gonna be like well, who are you if, unless I've already started that conversation and I can even corroborate with my other account and send you which mm -hmm. is why I send messages from both of them oh okay that's why but that's uh, per, yeah it I mean it happens mm -hmm. but that's also something in fact I'm if I lose my phone I'm gonna have a hard time trying uh, recovering some things on my phone so mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see this. Do you, um, here, I'll try and... You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to share screen. So I, I can do oh, that. Okay, okay perfect. Uh, go back in here. I'm going to share screen. Boom. 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 Okay, so I'm sharing screen, so you should be able to see it. And then... Yep, I'm seeing it. And then what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I Five saw, million power. A little bit. I got this I got this image over here from, from Paul. Thanks, buddy. And he, it's the it's the updated distribution rates, and so it is still. Where is it? Cards thirty three percent at every level, and that is roughly consistent with what with what um, Gathering was saying across his data. I don't personally track it. Um, 
Um, but I don't know, man. There, and again, when you know what happens is, here's something that I wonder if it, if if this if this makes me, this could be happening where when somebody gets a gold foil legendary or they get a multiple gold foil legendary in one loot chest, what do they do? They post it on Twitter. They go to Discord. They talk about how lucky they are, and that might be like a loud celebration can be the reason why we hear a disproportionate number of I'm getting all these amazing cards and then it feels like everyone is and maybe the maybe maybe that's all that I that maybe that explains why for a season it felt like everyone was getting all the cards and now it doesn't I don't know it's good to have this though thanks for sending it over Paul yeah also I wanna am I right with um calculating it so 3.2 times the six percent is like one in five parts should be a gold foil in champion uh, am i right to that so one in five cards uh six percent yeah oh, hang on From one in five cards. the legendary stand parts is it one in five hang on um six if there's a six percent gold foil then it should be like six out of a hundred right so what is that one in yeah yeah you're something like uh i can't do the math in my head <laughs> like one in 12 or something like that one in 13 or something like that should be gold foil i'm seeing my pooch wants to get out so i'm just gonna let her out give me okay. a sec yeah sure no problem one in 16 should be a gold foil okay just for you uh... um I'm surprised that that's a, that feels like a, a high number. I'm glad that I'm earning those chests then. Because look, even over the diamond, it goes from 4% to a 6%. That's a big increase. Yeah, it's a very big increase. I mean, I mean a, those champ chests are that really, really coveted in my opinion. Yeah, champ chests are basically... At least we now see the numbers why champ chests are the best cards in the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. One merits go from one to four hundred and seventy-five times. I think is that. Am I reading that right? Merits. Yeah, that's right. That's that's that. that could, I've never got any sort of crazy, absolutely insane merit drop. Or what's like the biggest SPS drop you remember receiving? Do you remember in one chest getting thousands or? No, no, I think the highest one I've ever received for six or five hundred. I don't think it was even that high. Mm. I think, oh no, I got one time I got one thousand and seventeen. Mm, that, that's that, like the biggest drop I've ever gotten out of my Splintland career. Wow, that's awesome. So, <laughs> yeah, pretty lucky there. What about you? Um, the other day, I, on my last end of season, I feel like I got three hundred and then I got five hundred in two different chests. Um, but I feel, I think, I don't think I've ever received a, like a thousand SPS in a single chest. I think 500, 600, 700 is I've done, I think. Uh, but I kind of forget too, to be honest. Yeah, but a lot of times 500 is better than one times thousand. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Um, before I just end the week, I'll back up. If you want to see uh flinger at level one is losing your rewards keep that in mind paul you're totally right and i am aware of that i'm just also thinking i'm also i don't i don't use it very often to be honest i and i can show probably how often let's let's go have a peek at this splintercoach.com and that's a new is fungus flinger a, a green card right yeah it is okay so let's okay so now i'm gonna go i guess Linger. There he is. I've only used it six times. In 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 probably well look, I've used it three times and I've played uh what's my if I go like this, if I remove I go like this, look at I've played twelve hundred matches and I've used the flinger six times. So it's definitely not a high circulation card for me. <laughs> Do you mess around I mean, with Splinter Coach? No, I haven't used it once, but I can quickly take a look to see how often I use it. Oh, I need to collect my wallet. I need to do it. Mm -hmm. It may take take a while. But, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, another time. It's it's a good service though. I'm enjoying it. 
But um, yeah, I see. Also, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. 